Hey folks, uh, this one is graphing log functions and this is module 15.2 in our textbook for integrated math 3. So here we go. So how is the graph of g of x equals a times log base b of x minus h plus k where b is uh, greater than 0 and it's not equal to 1. How is that related to the uh, regular f of x graph equals log base b of x. Okay, now let's let me answer that real quick. This is going to be um, a, a vertical stretch or compression. If the absolute value of this is greater than one, it's a stretch. If the absolute value of this is less than one, it's a uh, it's a compression. If it's positive, then it, it continues to go in the same direction. If it's negative, it gets reflected over the x-axis. And do you remember horizontal shift? H, K, and we do opposite same. Is this ringing a bell? Hope so. All right, so let's go back um, uh, and graph uh, what we did in, in the last lesson, you guys. In section C, we graphed um, F of X equals log base 2 of X, okay? So what we did is we, we first graphed Y equals 2 to the X, and then uh, this was the inverse graph. So we switched uh, the ordered pairs of Y equals 2 to the X, and uh, it gave us what's called the inverse. So the inverse of an exponential function is a log function, and the inverse of a log is an exponential. And you're thinking, what? What does that mean? Okay, well, um, we did graph this in the last lesson, so if you're kind of confused on how to graph that, I don't want to spend the time re-graphing that. It's pretty easy. Just go back to the um, section 15.1, part 2, and you'll see. It's just real easy, okay? All log functions kind of look like this, okay? They got this sort of shape right there, all right? So let's go ahead and and complete the table for uh, the function log log of x. Uh, now remember, if there's no base given, it's understood to be base 10. And then we'll plot the points and make a smooth graph. Okay, so these are base 10. These are what our calculators are programmed for. So if we plugged in point 0.1 and hit our log button, our LOG. Now my calculator says, this one I'm looking at says capital L-O-G. All the letters are capital. Um, but it might say lowercase log, just depends on what your, your calculator does, okay? And if you plug in 0.1 and you hit uh, log of x, you get negative 1, okay? So here's the graph of 0, negative 1 right there, okay? I'm sorry, uh, 0.1 and then negative 1. Did I say 0? I sure did. All right, so let's do 1, you guys. So uh, what's the log of 1, okay? So the log of 1 is 0. So we can graph the point 1, 0. I'll show you this, uh, why it's 0 again. That's okay. And then uh, what's log of 10, okay? Log of 10 is 1, okay? So I'll show you that also. So here's log of 10. So we go over 10, up 1 right there. And then let's connect it with a smooth curve, okay? So we're going to call this our parent graph when it's log of x, okay? So here's the parent graph when it's log base 2 right there. So we're going to focus on log base 2, log of x, and we're going to also do the natural log of x, okay? All right, so let's plug in uh, 1 over e, okay? Or e to the negative 1, okay? And if we plugged in e to the negative 1 and hit our ln button, okay? On my calculator, it's capital ln. Okay, uh, and you should get negative 1, okay? So there's 1 over e comma negative 1 right there is that ordered pair, okay? All right, let's plug in 1. So 1, we're going to get 0. I'll show you why it's 0 again in just a little bit. Okay, so let's plug in e. And I put uh, the decimal version of e is 2.72. So we, when we graph it, we'll go a little bit past 2, about right there, 2.72. Okay, it's going to give us 1 right there when you plug it in your calculator. And when we do e squared, it's going to give us 2 right there. Okay, so e squared is about 7.3, so almost 7.5. And then it goes up to 2 right there. Okay, so there's our, our function for uh, the natural log of x. Can you see they're all the same, you guys? See how they all kind of go in that same pattern right there? So here's the characteristics of all these graphs. They all have a vertical asymptote at, um, uh, at, at x equals 0 right there, okay? That should be a negative 2, by the way. I didn't catch that. Um, uh, this has a vertical asymptote right there. This has a vertical asymptote right there. So they all have an x-intercept at 1, 0. Here's 1, 0. Here's 1, 0. Here's 1, 0. My x-axis, they all have an 
x-intercept right there, okay? They all are increasing. So as we go from left to right, they're all increasing, okay? And they all have the same behavior, just different rates of change. Just That just means one's increasing more than the other ones right there, okay? The red guy's increasing the most. The middle guy's increasing the least. And this guy's increasing the middle E, okay? <laughs> and then all have a... Uh, have B1 um, uh, where B is the base. So here's log base 2. So this was 2 comma 1. This was log base 10. Okay, so here's 10 comma 1. This was log base E. So this was E comma 1. So whatever the base is, uh, its corresponding Y values are, are 1. Okay, now the reason why they're 1 is this, you guys. Look, let's go over here first, okay? This base to this power equals this. So log base 5 of 5 equals 1. This base to this power equals this. Log base 7 of 7 equals 1. Log base 2 of 2 equals 1. Log base 3 of 3 equals 1. Log base, log base anything of that same base right there always equals 1 right there. This is understood to be base 10. So log base 10 of 10 equals 1. This is understood to be base E. So log base uh, E of E is 1, okay? Because uh, this base, this E to the 1 power equals E. This base, which is an imaginary 10 to the 1 power equals 10. 11 to the 1 power equals 11, and so on. Over here, you guys, if this number is 1, so this is our x right here, our y's is 0 because any base to the 0 power always equals 1. See, 2 to the 0 equals 1. 11 to the 0 equals 1. 10 to the 0 equals 1. Okay, so this is our x and this is our y. So we're going to use the ordered pair 1 comma 0 for all of these. And we'll use the ordered pair b comma 1 for all of these, okay, when we're graphing these. Okay, so let's identify the transformation of f of x equals log base b of x. Then graph g of x on the same graph of f of x by applying the transformation to the asymptote. Our asymptote on the last graphs were x equals 0. And we'll use the reference points 1, 0 and b1. And also state the domain and range in set notation. Okay, so this was log base 2. So what we're going to do is uh, graph um, uh, log base 2 of x first is our parent graph. Okay, so log base 2 of x would have had an x-intercept at 1, 0, and then it would have went through 2, comma 1. Okay, so here's log base uh, 2 of x, x. That's our parent graph. All right, now let's talk about this. This is going to be reflected over the x-axis, so this blue guy is going to go upside down. Okay, not only that, it's going to be um, it's going to be stretched a vertical stretch by a factor of two. So instead of this one going over one, up one, it's going to go over one. Still goes over the same, but it's going to go down twice as much. Okay, and don't forget our origin is going to get shifted to the right one down two. Okay, so something like that. So here we go. Vertical stretch by a factor of this two right there. And because it's negative, it gets reflected over the x axis and it's going to be translated to the right one down two. Remember, opposite, same on that. Okay, so here it is right there. There's my, um, my translation right there to the right one. So we went to the right one down two. Okay, now. This graph, the, uh, this first point was over 1, up 0. So we go over 1, up 0 right there. This one went over 1, up 1. So we're going to go over um, over 1. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. So we're going to go, uh, I'm sorry, this graph went over 2, up 1. Two, sorry. So I'm going to go over 2, and it's going to go down twice as much, down 2. Okay, so we'll plot this guy and plot this guy. It's going to be upside down of this blue guy, and it's going to be going towards this asymptote right there, the, the green asymptote. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, put the regular order pairs in there. So this was actually over 2, down 2. This is actually over 3, down 4 right there. And then there it is right there. And that's our graph. And then our domain is um, all left and right movement. Well, it goes to the right forever, but it doesn't go to the left. It goes asymptotically towards this vertical asymptote of x equals 1. So x is greater than 1. And uh, the red guy goes up and down forever and ever. So the, the range is all real numbers. OK. All right, so this one is base 10. OK, so base 10. 
we're going to graph uh, y equals the log of x. So we're going to graph, uh, use the reference point 1, 0. I'm going to put a point right there. And then since base 10, uh, this is going to be 10, 1. So I'll go over here, 10, 1. And then here's our parent graph, f of x equals the log of x right there. Okay, now let's, um, let's do our transform uh, transformations right here, okay? So it has a vertical stretch by this factor of 2 right there, and it's translated to the left 2 up 4, okay? So let's go ahead and do that shifting to the left 2 up 4, okay? Now, uh, this one's going up. It's going up twice as much as this one goes up. So this one went uh, from the origin, it went over 1, 0. So we'll still go over the same. So here's 1, 0. And then this one goes from uh, the origin here, it goes over 10, up 1. So from this spot, we'll go over 10, but it's going to go up 2 because of the, the reflection. So let's put those regular points in there now. So this is at negative 1, 4. This one looks like it's at 8, 6 right there, okay? And then connect them up, and there it is. And then our domain is uh, everything to the right of this vertical asymptote, so x is greater than um, negative 2. And then our range is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, all right, if you are in my class, I think I got all their mistakes uh, corrected on here. Maybe not, but that would be your assignment, and there's your lessons. Today is a block day, so the second half I'm going to have you do, we're at the end of module um, uh, module 15. So we're going to start module 16 on Thursday. I don't see the kiddos, uh, you, um, uh, you guys, until um, a day after tomorrow. Okay? All right. Take care.